So speaking of video game movies, you mentioned earlier Tomb Raider, which the first one saw. Could we even say middling success? It, it kind of just bombed. Um, I don't know. I can't remember if it bombed. I know it got like mediocre reception. And like just review. I feel yeah. like it was mediocre. I think it was just mediocre box office. Box and office. Reviews. Yeah, it was just across the board. I feel like it just it got like a few trailers and people were like, maybe, maybe. Now, now no one heard the, about it again. Of the video game movie adaptations it 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 is probably one of the best Pro- no probably the best and that's it will, you know that's not look, hard to talk i but didn't hate the movie i recognize right. i recognize a lot of flaws in it but as a just a viewing experience of someone just being like i want to be entertained by a property that i love i didn't hate the movie but that being said i didn't expect them to make a second one when i, I yeah. did not know that they were making a second one until this week when i heard the news that they had actually attached a director to the project and mm-hmm. it's not going to be the director of the first one it's a guy named ben wheatley yeah and i'm not familiar with this director have you um i was looking on his imbd and i didn't recognize any of his movies so as far as i know about him i've, I've actually never seen any of his movies but i am familiar with one movie they did called free fire uh a few years ago so as far as what I know about him is that he's a fairly divisive indie kind of director. Um, he has a very particular style and a very particular vision. Some people really like it and some people don't. Pretty much everything that he's done, I've seen five star reviews and one star reviews for. Oh, really? Um, yeah, he's like very, he, split, he splits people a lot in the way that he does things. He just had a movie come out called Rebecca, which is a remake of a... Um, of a Alfred Hitchcock movie that I really like. And I was actually going to check it out because the trailer looked pretty good. And once again, I think it's at like 50% on Rotten Tomatoes. Some people really liked it and some people really didn't. Hmm. It, he's very, he seems to be very divisive. Um, but I don't really know about, from what I know about his style. I'm not really sure about how he's going to fit into a Tomb Raider movie. Uh, I know visually his movies always look really pretty. Uh, they're always very well directed visually. Um, but I've never actually seen one, so I can't really speak yeah. to so, that. So I guess but the question he's is, int- he's definitely an interesting choice. Do you think that it's a good idea to, but I mean, like, you know, I can't speak to to him, but it actually doesn't sound like a bad idea if you're going to try and lift this franchise from the depths of, of the movie world to pick, you know, to not go with a massive director, but to go with one that is more entrenched in a style in a cult like following type of area where there is, you know, like, do you almost want it to be more divisive? Like to really, you want it to lean into something. You don't want it to be middle of the road, like something where they just really lean in. I was actually thinking it, it may be a good idea because at the very least the, the first Tomb Raider movie was very like my biggest issue with it was that it was very generic in terms of an action movie. Like it hit every generic action movie beat that you could without any sort of like, stylistic flair to 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 uh, offset that um i actually think bringing in a guy like ben wheatley who is both very divisive but also very particular when it comes to ha- um, how his movies are styled i actually think that could be what they need i don't know that it would make it a box office hit though yeah like, I, don't, I don't think it would make it a hit i think it might make i think it would definitely make it a more interesting movie what would they have to do honestly like to bring like at this point i don't what would they have to do to even bring it from the depths, though? Like, with the success of the first one, not that many people went out to see it to begin with. Who's going to go out to another one? Um. Well, nobody if theaters aren't open. <laughs> well, true. But, like, I, I mean, I'll go see it. I mean, I'm sure it'll, like, do okay. But I'm like, if they are trying to, like, turn it into a series again that is going to bring in money i don't know that just a second movie that's a little better than the first is gonna do it yeah i just i don't think the tomb raider property is gonna bring in um a huge audience at any point in the future it's just tomb Tomb raiders in a tomb raiders in that nostalgia sweet spot where people look back on it really fondly um but also people today aren't super familiar with it they're familiar with it but they're not those tropes have been done a lot since then too and also it, it it has become so ingrained in pop culture yeah. to the point where like bringing back a tomb raider is it's it's like it's like having another indiana jones movie yeah the the premise does nothing for anyone it's literally the selling point of lara croft and and quite it's frankly also, it's also so similar to uncharted nowadays yeah 
Like, and honestly, I love Alicia Vikander. I I love her as Tomb Raider. I I liked uh, Angelina Jolie as Tomb Raider, despite what anyone thinks about the movies or their success or uh, reviews. But like as a Tomb Raider, I thought she was fine. I thought she did a good job of keeping the character iconic, right? If if just to say the least. But um, for someone to succeed her, I thought that um, Alicia was a good pick because I I really like her. I thought she turned it into a more serious role, a more uh almost female friendly role like she's very she also, strong she and hard really, it's not yeah, she really had the physicality they didn't sexualize the role. the role they made her they made her a really cool and strong brutal character but in that movie one of the things i liked about it was that i liked her performance i liked her as the character and i thought she carried what little the movie had to offer but i liked the fact that they brought in a girl that's small but also really strong and physical and then they beat the crap out of her like the the terrain and the enemies really like she just gets destroyed in that movie physically and she overcomes it like there is no there was no like paving the way for her to just be superhuman or super cool shooting two guns doing the craziest stuff it was like no this girl is like like scraping for her life in these insane and like death defying stunts and for as believable as they could get they were pretty believable and something that was gripping and interesting and kept me on the edge of my seat, at least through the action bits of the movie. Now, the movie had plenty of other flaws, obviously, but those elements of the movie I thought were a good choice. So I'm, and, you know, I'm so I'm all but be- I'm all behind a Tomb Raider, too. I'm actually glad that they're getting another one. I just didn't expect it. I didn't expect them to like to move on with that. So, yeah, I guess I guess we'll see. Like, I don't. It also got I I think I I didn't actually read the article, but I saw that it got a delay in terms of filming do you know when it was originally slated i don't i don't remember but i assume that i think ben wheatley was attached like months ago oh really like i I think it's kind of in a weird area where it's not ready to go yet yeah but it i don't know it's it's possible that it may not happen at this point with just how weird things are with filming and covid and yeah i can see it not being a high priority for the studio so we'll see where it goes 